This video is all about sentence fragments. So to know that a sentence fragment is not a complete sentence, we probably have to talk about the requirements for a complete sentence. So to have a complete sentence, we must have a subject, a verb, and it must be a complete thought or make sense. So a fragment is going to be missing one of those three required elements. So for example, look at letter A, the cat on the couch. Well, here we have cat subject. We know where the cat is on the couch, but it's missing a verb. So if it's missing one of the three requirements to be a sentence, in this case, the verb, then what we have is a sentence fragment or not a complete sentence. Look at letter B, barked at the birds in the yard. Here we have a verb barked, barked at what birds in the yard, but we don't have who the subject. We don't have who barked at the birds in the yards. We can assume it was the dog, but it doesn't tell us that. So since we're missing the subject, this is a sentence fragment or not a complete sentence. Look at letter C, over in the corner of the room. In this group of words, we're missing both the subject and the verb. What we have here are just a couple of prepositional phrases, and phrases are always sentence fragments. And finally, letter D, once the rain ended. Here we have our subject rain and our verb ended, but we don't have a complete thought because I'm gonna be left wondering once the rain ended, what? I walked to school, I went to my friend's house, I played outside, what happened once the rain ended? So it is also a sentence fragment. Let's practice. Decide if this group of words is a sentence or a fragment. Number one, the boy sang loudly. Sentence, we have a subject and a verb and it makes complete sense. Number two, over the hill on the grass. Fragment, here we just have two phrases, over the hill and second phrase on the grass, no subjects, no verbs. Number three, between the two chairs. Fragment. Here we just have a phrase, prepositional phrase. Here's my preposition, object of the preposition. Number four, I walk to the party. Sentence, I is my subject, walked is my verb, it makes complete sense. Number five, the sweet young little boy. Fragment, here I do have a subject boy, but I don't have a verb anywhere. So it's definitely a fragment. Number six, crash through the fence suddenly. This is also a fragment. I have a verb and I know it happened, but I don't know what crashed through the fence suddenly. So I'm missing the subject, making this a fragment. And number seven, people all over the world go hungry. Sentence, I've got my subject and I've got my verb and it makes sense. So sentence.